Hello everyone, I'm Busy with the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video on Battlefield 1, and today I'm going to be talking about what is the most casual class that you can use in Battlefield 1. So, in Battlefield 1 there's four classes, there's Assault, Medic, Support, and Scout. They all have advantages and disadvantages, and some are more casual than others. Okay, I'm going to say this right now. So, I want to look at it, you know, see which ones are, you know, more casual, which ones maybe, you know, which you want to do after you've done the casual ones. Just kind of how you might want to play the game to learn it. And to start, don't start out with the scout class. Whatever you do, okay, if you're, if you're new to Battlefield, take, get the snipers out of here. You don't need them. Don't mess with them. The, no, it's... it's Okay, there's bullet drop in the game. You basically have to headshot unless you, f you find the perfect range. It is, it's a nightmare if you've never played Battlefield before to snipe. Okay, so get that out of the way. So that leaves us with three classes, Assault, Medic, and Support. And it's kind of hard figuring out which one is more casual, but it comes down to this. Automatic weapons are better than semi-automatic weapons. Weapons that have easier to manage ranges are more casual than weapons with specific ranges so that eliminates the assault class because assault class is all close range and it's hard to you know beat out long range and close range and there is in battlefield there is more long range encounters and close range encounters so that leaves us with medic and support okay balance the two out you know there's semi-auto rifles on medic and LMGs on support. And really, I would consider support the most casual class. And the reason why is because of all of the heavy machine guns and the ammo resupply that you can get. Okay? That's why it's casual. While the medic has the health resupply, the support has more of an ammo supply that you can give yourself, as well as some explosives to break buildings, because breaking buildings is awesome. So, when you use support, you have LMGs at the start, but later on, you actually get assault rifles. And assault rifles, in, in, in video games, assault rifles are generally the easiest weapons to use in, the, in games. And a support has more assault rifles in it than medic does. Medic has a couple assault rifles, but support really is where assault rifles and LMGs are. So, if you're using support and you're doing really well, maybe you want to switch a class. I would either switch to medic or scout at this point, because if you're using support, you know about bullet drop, so you can go the route of scout. Okay, scout, you know, with that long range, or you can go to medic and train yourself to use scout at long range and a sold at close range. Now, you want to balance it out. You figure out Scout has the bolt actions, Medic has autos and semis. Go for Medic after support. Medic is kind of where you learn to be more of a team player, especially if you have the um, so, uh, the revive needle. I call it heroin because it's a lot easier to say than the syringe. So you have the heroin and you have the med packs. And at this point, you've probably increased your accuracy, so ammo is not going to be a problem for you. So when you're a Medic, you know you get those semi-auto rifles and this is very important. You can pick to train yourself to use Assault or Scout in this class because you have semi-auto scoped weapons and close range machine guns. They're still not quite SMGs, but there are some are closer range type assault rifles, more like carbines. So when you use Medic, basically, you know, play it casually, find a gun you like, and then figure out if that gun teaches you to use Assault or Scout, and then use that class. So, if you're Medic and you end up liking the scoped weapons, and you're done with Medic, swap over to Scout. If you find yourself using the auto weapons and close range, swap over to Assault. And then, once you have those three classes done, if you left Scout or Assault, then switch over to the other one. And that's really the kind of casual class guide to Battlefield 1. So start with Support, Learn how the game works. You know, get used to the bullet drop, controlling auto weapons. You know, and the, the LMGs, by the way, kind of act as auto rifles instead of automatic weapons, which is really weird for balancing. 
So you get used to the rifles, then go to medic class. And if you find that you like close range or long range medic, go to either scout or assault. But I would leave scout or assault by itself. And the reason why is scout and assault, the main reason is they have very definitive ranges. Assault is definitively close range. Scout is definitively long range. But beyond that, those classes are the most specialized. Scout, you have to learn bullet drop, where to hide, what the ranges of the maps are. Assault, you have to learn how to control an SMG, how to raid a building, how to successfully blow up a tank. There's just a lot to do with those classes. If you're a more casual gamer, you don't want to delve into those classes, stick with medic and support, because those two are like linked together. They're kind of, you can interchange those two, but with Assault and Scout, you can't interchange them with any classes, except for kind of medic. Arguably, Scout can be kind of changed out with support, but I say not really. So leave Scout and Assault until you know how the game works. If you're a pro Battlefield player who's still casual, just pick a class and go with it. If, you, if you've been playing Battlefield for Battlefield Hardline for a long time, then it's, it really doesn't matter. Now, one last thing that I want to touch on is if you're using Assault for the first time, use the MP18 because that's the easiest to use SMG. If you are a scout, use the Lee Enfield or the MK3, either the Marksman or the Carbine. That's going to really help you with your accuracy as a scout. So those are my tips for casual class selection. I don't even know what the title of this video is going to be. I don't know. But anyway, I'm Pacific Casual Gamer. You can subscribe for more casual gaming videos. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam a post of whatever I decide to make.